We are now set 11 for our daily math quiz. Number one, which of the following is a translation of the statement twice the sum of six and four? Kapag sinabing twice tells you to multiply the quantity by two. So magmultiply tayo ng two. Then, the sum of six and four, pag sinabing the sum, bali i-add mo si six and four. So six plus four. Ngayon, twice the sum of six and four, meaning 2 times the sum of 6 plus 4. So, alin dito sa choices? Letter C. Number 2. Rashard went fishing 6 days in the month of June. He caught 11, 4, 0, 5, 4, 6 fish respectively. On the days that Rashard fished, what was his average catch? So, pag sinabing average, i-add mo lang yan. So, this is 15, 20, 30. 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, divided by 6 is equals to 5. So, the answer is letter B. Answer question 3 on the basis of the following paragraph. So, magbasa muna tayo. Basic cable television service, which includes 16 channels, cost 15 a month. The initial labor fee to install the service is 25. So my 15 a month, tapos initial 25. A 65 deposit is required but will be refunded within two years if the customer's bills are paid in full. Other cable services may be added to the basic service. The movie channel service is 9.4 a month. The news channels are 7.5 or 7.50 a month. The art channels are 5 a month. The sports channels are 4.8 or 4 and 80 a month. The question. A customer's first bill after having cable television installed totaled 112 and 50 cents. This customer chose basic cable and one additional cable service. Which additional service was chosen? Is it... The news channel, movie channel, art channel, or the sport channel. So, tingnan natin, i-add natin. Unang i-add natin yung initial. Basic cable, which includes 16 channels. 16 daw. Cost 15 a month. The initial labor fee is 25. Mayroon siyang deposit na 16. So, i-add natin yan. Palitin nga natin to. Wala rin. So, para mas makita natin lahat. 65 plus 25. Mayroon na tayong 90. So, itong deposit plus yung install, pag-install. 65 plus 25, mayroon na tayong 90. Plus, yung basic service na, yung basic service na 15. So, 90 plus 15, and that is 105. So, may naka-105 na tayo. Ang difference na lang, i-minus natin ng 112 at saka yung 50 cents, i-minus natin dito. So, this is, ilan na ba yan? Kung i-minus natin dito, mayroon kang 0.5, tapos 7. So, bali, ang difference na lang ay 7.50 dollars. Yan, 7.50 Yang 7.50 ang cost dyan ay news channel. So, news channel, the answer is letter A. Uulitin ko para sa mga nalilito. Ang question ay, the customers, ang bali ang hahanapin lang natin. The customers first bill, unang bayad, after having cable, cable television installed total, 100 12 and 50 cents. First bill. So, kung first bill ka, 
Ito ang i-add mo, 15, 25, at saka yung 65. Pagkatapos mong i-add itong tatlo, ito, 105 siya. Itong, yung installed total, uh, total na bill niya, na 112 and 50 cents, minus 105, yung difference niya, yan yung, dyan mo makikita kung alin dito sa mga channel ang, um, ina-add up niya na additional. So, 112.5 minus 105, 7.5. So, saan dito ang 7.5? Ito, 750, the news channel. So, the answer is letter A. Number four, an army food truck can carry three tons. A breakfast ration of weighs 12 inches and the other two daily meals weigh 18 inches each. Assuming each Soldiers, soldiers, soldiers get three meals per day on a 10-day trip. How many soldiers will be supplied by one truck? First, i-convert muna natin yung tons. One ton is equals to, convert natin sa one a ton to pounds and to ounces is equals to 2,000 pounds. So kung three... That is 6,000 pounds. Each pound is equals to 16. So, 16 ounces. So, itong 6,000 na to, i-multiply natin ng 16. So, this is 36. Iganong natin. 96. So, 1, 2, 3. That is 9. So, ulit natin ulit. Nang ibang kulay. 96. Thousand. Now, 12, tapos itong 12 breakfast, 18, dalawang 18 kay, 2 daily meals man, lunch at saka dinner. So, 36. I-add natin yan, that is 48 ounces. Itong 48 na to, yan yung pang-divide natin sa 96,000. So, i-delete ulit natin. 96,000 divided by 48, and that is 2,000. Kasi ito lang man, dalawang 48, 96 man. Tapos, i-bring down mo lang tatlong zero, so 2,000. 96,000 divided by 48, that is 2,000. Itong 2,000 na to, 10 days, i-divide mo ng 10, and that is 200. So, the answer is letter C, 200. Number five, Meda arrived at work at 8.14 a.m. and Christine arrived at 9.12 a.m. How long had Meda been at work when Christ Christine, Christine pala yan, got there? So, minus mo lang siya, 9 minus 8.14. So, magbaro ka dyan ng 60 minutes. So, this is 72. 72 minus uh, 14. So, this is... 8, 6, 58. 58 minutes. The answer is letter C. Another way. Another way of solving this. 8, 14 going to 9. Ilan ang difference dyan? And you have 46. Then 46 minutes. Going to 9. 9 to 9 to 12. So, mayroon kang 12 minutes. 46 plus 12, and that is 58 minutes. So, the answer is letter C. Sa mga nalilito, eh, tagalogin ko lang. Si, Me, uh, si Meda daw, nandun na sa trabaho ng 814. Ito naman isa, uh, dumating ng 9 to 12. So, ang tanong lang naman, anong layo nila ba? Anong distance? Ano ba yan? Uh, gaano nakatagal ng trabaho si Meda pagdating nitong si Kirsten? Yun. Number six. A clerk can process 26 forms per hour. If 5,600 forms must be processed in 8 hours. 8 hours a day. How many clerks must you hire for that day? First, i-multiply muna natin si 26 sa 8. 26 times 8. And that is 208. 
si 208 yan yung pang divide natin sa 5,600 divided by 208. Then that is 26.9. Since hindi tayo maka-hire ng 0.9 at mga tao, so 27 na clerks ang kailangan nga natin. So the answer is letter D. Number 7. How many different meals can be ordered from a restaurant if there is three choices of so five choices of entries and two choices of dessert if a meal consists of soap entry and dessert the counting principle para dito ay i-multiply mo lang yan 3 times 5 times 2 15 times 2 and that is 30 so the answer is 30 letter c number 8 which of the following best represents the following sentence See, Rachel had three apples and ate one. Rachel uh, represents as R. Rachel had, ang mga had, R, at saka yung, iklaruhin nga natin, yung mga ganito, uh, R, yung mga is, um, ibig sabihin yan ay equal. Rachel had three apples and ate one. Kinain man niya yung isa. So, minus 1. So, the answer is letter A. Number 9. A uniform requires 4 square yards of cloth to produce a uniform of 84,720 troops. How much, how much cloth is required? All you have to do is just multiply lang. Multiplication. So, i multiply natin si 84720. Multiply natin ng 4. Ito, mamaya na yan si 0. This is 8. And 28, 16, 18, 32, 33. Tapos, kopyahin si 0. The answer is 338,880. Letter C. Number 10. Marty left his workplace at 5.15 p.m. on Thursday and returned at 7.58 a.m. on Friday. How much time elapsed between the time Marty left work on Thursday to the time he returned on Friday? 5.15 p.m. to 5.16 ay 16 pala to, at 5.16 a.m. 12 hours yan siya. So si 5 Itong 5.16, pangit ng handwriting ko. Si 5.16 a.m. to 7.58 a.m. Yan na lang ang kwentahin natin. I-minus natin. Gawin natin ganito para mas klaro lang. 5.16. So this is 2, 4, 2 hours, uh, 42 minutes. Itong 2 hours na to i-add natin sa 12. So we have 14 hours. At 42 minutes. 14 hours and 42 minutes. Saan dito? Letter C. So, the answer is letter C. Uulitin natin para sa mga nalilito lang. Marty left his workplace at 5.16 p.m. So, ang a.m. niyan the following day, exactong 12 hours yan. So, 5... Ano po sinabi ko? 5.16. So, 5.16... Erase natin ito. Mga sinulat ko dito. 5.16 a.m. going to 7.58 a.m. Yan na lang kwintahin natin. Kung i-minus na ito itong 58 minus 16 na that is 42 minutes. 7 minus 5 that is 2 hours. So i-add natin yung 12 hours natin kanina. 14 hours and 42 minutes. So, ang answer ay letter C, 14 hours and 42 minutes.